Right, I am gonna make a newspaper wrapped roast salmon dish. So I've got two beautiful big salmon fillets. This is a real kind of treaty, celebratory dish. I'm gonna cut some nice thick slices through the top of the skin side on both of them, like that. And that just allows me to get a little pinch of mould in and get it in there, you know, right into the, the deep bit of the fish. So we flavour it from the inside. Right, so quick herby stuffing. Toasted pine nuts, always, always worth just toasting the pine nuts up a little bit. Adds loads more flavour. And then a big, generous handful of chives. And then about the same of uh, flat leaf parsley. Nice rough chop into the bowl. Three cloves of garlic. Garlic and molden paste onto those herbs. And then a good shake of capers and a little bit of olive oil. Quick stir. Right, now we have to wrap it up. So nice big sheet of baking paper. One of those salmon fillets skin side down. And then you want to spoon this stuffing all the way over the top. Getting it to the edges as much as you can. Right, and then the other salmon fillet. I'm going to turn it the other way around so the thick side matches the thin side and the thin side matches the thick side because we just want to make it as even as possible really and then we wrap it up. Right so I'm just wrapping that as tightly as I can for now so I'm not too worried because now it gets a nice newspaper wrapping lots and lots of layers. So that's pretty much wrapped up now, a little bit messy but it doesn't matter at all. So I just want to dip this really quickly in a trough of water. And all that's going to do is just add a little bit of moisture to our parcel. It's going to mean the fish steams a little bit. So I'm going to set it on my Weber Master Touch here. So I've got it set up in a 50-50 setting. So charcoal on one side, nothing on the other side. And my fish parcel has gone on the side, the indirect side. So not over the direct fire. That's just going to mean it can cook gently. It's quite a thick bit of salmon that, and it's going to take a little bit of cooking, maybe 45 minutes. But I've got my Weber Connect uh, Smart Grilling Hub. It's going to stuff it all the way through those layers of newspaper, because I don't want to be unwrapping that to check it's done. I want to know it's done. So that's just going to be my X-ray eyes, essentially, to what's happening to that salmon. Right, so I'm just going to let it cook away, maybe 45 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a quick yogurty dressing to go with it. So Greek yogurt, lemon zest. Just really fresh and simple, this. And then I'm going to get all that lovely juice in there. A little grind of pepper. Right, lastly, a little pinch of molden. Stir it up. Right, that is it. Now we just have to wait until that salmon hits temperature. So I'm looking for 60 Celsius. Uh, that'll be when it's done. Right, we have hit the magic temperature of 60. And I've been tracking it on my phone, actually, so I didn't have to stand here watching it the whole time. I'm just going to whip it off. There we go. Moment of truth. What I'm going to do is just chop it through the middle so you can have a look inside. Cooked to perfection. Have a look at that. 